I recently got a question via Facebook where someone was asking about processing one f independent instance of an audio file that where the file was used multiple times within a project. So in this example, I have one audio file used four separate times. And what the customer wanted to do is to do processing on, let's say, the third instance without that processing applying to the first, second, and fourth instance. So I'm going to select a range here with my range selection tool. And then I will go to my audio menu and we'll choose something like a fade out. We'll process our fade out. And we get a very critical dialog box that a lot of people blow through without really realizing uh, what they're doing. So if I choose to create a new version, that will create a new audio file and just do the processing in place just like so. So now I see the fade out here, but I don't see the fade out on the first, second, and fourth instances. I'll undo that. And let's say if I go to my audio processing one more time, and we'll do our fade out, and choose to process and I just kind of hit the enter key or the default to continue we can see that that's going to be applied to all of the files to fade out will be in every single instance of that particular file now a lot of people choose to say okay I don't want to see that dialog box again so that was another option here so we'll do our process and let's say they you think they always want to do this so they'll just hit the enter key and now it's been processed now you can undo this but a lot of people are like how do i get that dialog box back if i wanted to actually change that particular settings and to get the dialog box back you could go to preferences and under editing audio you'll see on processing shared clips you could have it automatically create a new version you could process the existing clips that would be all of them multiply or again to open up that options dialog box so once again now that i've chosen as a preference every single time that i wanted to do processing i would be automatically given the option to do a new version or again just to continue to process all instances of the same audio file so once you have that figured out you can change one particular instance of an audio file used multiple times within your Cubase project. If you have found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.